here we are with Jujutsu Kaisen episode 8. And yeah, last episode we saw Gojo's domain and how he completely destroyed the enemy uh, with his infinity curse techniques. I think it's I think it's techniques for him, right? I think the infinity power is like something he was born with that not everyone has, which is kind of crazy. Which makes me completely understand why he is so strong, right? Infinity sounds like some dope ass power. But yeah, so you see how Itadori's training will continue, right? Since it seems like he made he makes good progress. Gojo was surprised by it. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. <clears throat> Nubara? Yep. <laughs> Uh. Oh, the Kyoto Principle. <clears throat> Wait, what? Okay. <clears throat> so it was mainly about Itadori. Oh, hello. Who's the lady? Oh my, hello. <clears throat> oh, isn't Zenin one of the 30th that is good? That is like not good but strong? I think Gojo talk mentioned him. Hello. Man, he's big. Talking crash. Oh. <laughs> Nobara's face. <laughs> Okotsu. Who's Okotsu again? Did they mention? <laughs> what? That's how he knows? Oh, okay. That's how he decides if he beats him to death or not. <laughs> I think they mentioned it, Okutsu, right? Tall girl with big ass. I can get along with that. <clears throat> I think they mentioned Okutsu, right? I, didn't they say that he... got sent away? I don't know. I don't quite remember. <laughs> because I think that was like in episode 5 maybe where they mentioned the name. Uh, 
And this opening is so good. And yeah, it seems like my likes to, to talk trash, <laughs> it seems like. But yeah, the big guy was mentioned, I think, by Gojo being like a third year that is like really good, really strong. <clears throat> and the guy from the intro that sits next to Itadori, it's just one scene under the tree, also is one of those, I guess. <laughs> Short and sweet. <clears throat> With the OST. <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> I wonder how much they go all out. <laughs> Sounds boring. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. You're boring. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh. Hello. Man, I would like Itadori to show up. <laughs> God damn, shots fired. <clears throat> she has a gun? I mean, I, I think we saw a gun in the intro, right? So, curse guns? Or infusing guns with curse energy? Okay, sounds strong. Oh, curse technique. Oh, the OC. <laughs> Holding on to him. I think that won't help. Yep. <laughs> He's super fast.
God damn. Ooh. So who's coming in to save the day? Maybe no one. <laughs> Oh, god damn, dude. Oh, the frog saves the day. Is he pulling them? Oh no, he rips the tongues off. Okay, here we go. Something special? Oh, he can't talk! Oh. And back to ingredients. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, back where Myers. Yeah. Oh. Shots fired again. Man, they like to shoot to shoot shots. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> Here she goes. Oh. Try it, bitch. Okay. Oh my god. Very important business. Let's go. <laughs> it's five handshakes and he will never wash his hand again. Man, I can't wait for... <laughs> I can't wait for Itadori. I can't wait for Itadori to... meet up with them. <laughs> okay. That's why she has the glasses, okay. So she's basically like Rock Lee. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, I mean, we know that she isn't into the whole saving people thing. She doesn't care for that. <clears throat> nice ass. You are selfish. I respect that. <laughs> it's the same for me. Is this a Kyoto principal, dude? <laughs> oh, Gojo. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> I guess Gojo doesn't care. I think Gojo isn't doesn't care. <laughs> he talked to me. <laughs> Man, Gojo is a star. <laughs> He's so cool. <laughs> yeah, him. Ghetto. Yeah, the guy in the middle is also like one of the good good ones like good in the sense of strong Gojo mentioned him before <laughs> so carefree <laughs> With Gojo. <laughs> Four more. But I have four more tickets. One month later. Cinema. Who's these? Looks like dead people. Or cursed people? Mm hmm. Yeah. 
didn't they only had one and a half months before the stuff started? And one month passed already? Oh, that's him? <clears throat> Is that maybe Okotsu or whatever his name was? Oh, here's the glasses guy. Okay, they investigate. Did it, did it. Let's skip, 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 skip. She got a selfie. <laughs> she forgot the tea. Where's my tea? <laughs> and more of course wow <laughs> and her future husband, of course. She has a gun. <laughs> Does she become a fan? It was okay. <laughs> she became a fan. <laughs> Okay, that was episode. Let me know what you thought. Um, but yeah, um, interesting episode in the sense that we got new characters, right? These are third years of the Kyoto school, I think, and um, that just joined um, the principal that came from Kyoto to check if everything is all right here because of Itadori, I think they said, because he died, which was, I think, basically just to rub some salt into the wound, right? Because um, the panda said earlier that they like to talk trash, right? <laughs> I mean, we saw that. They all trash talk each other. Um, on, and interesting that Maki and Mai are twins, basically. So I didn't catch that. I had to rewatch some parts of the episode. And yeah, the um, big dude, Toto, seems pretty strong, right? I mean, it, it was one of those characters that Gojo mentioned, right? I think he mentioned Toto being like a third year, being really strong, and uh, Okotsu being a third year, being really strong. And I think Okotsu was the guy we saw at the end now that confronted the other guy uh, with the white hair that we saw at the end of last episode. Um, and yeah, those two, I think, were like mentioned by Toto being third years and being strong. Um, and I think... Okotsu was mentioned earlier before too that he left for some reason. I don't know. Um, and so, yeah. I mean, when it comes to the new characters, I like Mai's design, right? I like the design, but her character, I don't know. Um, very arro arrogant, right? Um, and yeah, also very interesting that the ingredients talking guy, I don't know his name, um, 
can actually talk if he wants. I guess he has to, right? When he wants to use his curse techniques or whatever, he has to talk normally. Otherwise, he just uses ingredients, which is surprising, I guess. Um, and so, yeah. That was basically the episode, right? Just some interactions with the new characters, the third years. And, I mean, Gojo's, but, I mean, Gojo is just that... He talks a bit about like new students are getting the new students getting stronger and they will rise up and all that stuff while the old guys etc right so nothing too important there i would say let me check let me check mm. Yeah, okay, it's basically, I guess it's basically just saying that um, the new students get stronger and stronger and eventually it will just be bad for the higher ups that are just based on their status and their traditions, right? So basically what Gojo is planning, like a revolution that the higher ups get taken down and then the new generation takes over. <clears throat> um which we already know from the previous episodes. But yeah, can't wait to see more of the characters, right? Um, I can't wait to see... I, I can't wait to see the moment when Itadori meets Toto and Mai. I want to see what they have to say, if they are surprised, or if they... I mean, maybe they don't even know who he is, right? Um, and how well, or how strong um, Itadori will be, and when he faces off against them... Probably, I would guess, maybe. And also, we saw at the end now the glasses guy with Itadori. And they, uh, I guess, inspect the crime scene with the curse stuff. And see what was going on. And I guess we will also see Okutsu, right? And, yeah, I mean, we didn't saw the glasses guy so far, except the intro. So, it will be interesting to see what he is all about, right? But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching, until next time, bye-bye.